Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Sifu on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Disciple difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we got through level number two, the club. It went relatively well. We had a few unnecessary deaths as we travelled through the club looking for various different shortcut items. But the main man himself, boss number two, unfortunately, I did suffer one death despite knowing exactly what to do. So, it didn't go terribly, but it didn't go swimmingly either. But we are only age 27 at the moment, so things are not looking too bad at the moment. So, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be jumping into level number three. Now, level number three, the boss, I actually do relatively well, but traveling through the actual level, getting to the various different enemies that are going to give you the shortcut items, and that's where the main difficulty is in this level. It's a bloody nightmare, and I've only done it once or twice, so I'm not very familiar with the kinds of enemies we're going to meet. So this is probably going to go horrifically wrong, but let's get straight into it. The museum. Lovely. But this is going to be the boss that has the long whips with blades on. A bloody nightmare of a boss. That is the first time that has ever worked for me. He just hit... <laughs> He just smacked his mate with he just smacked his mate with a baseball bat. You see that? Alright. Now uh, this level has got quite a lot of enemies that use daggers, and the daggers are very, very vicious. They will do quite a bit of damage to you. And the worst thing about them is when you're blocking, because they're obviously attacking you with a blade, you still take damage. But I think I might take the bat with me for now because it's good to be able to block with this bat. So this level right here. What you're going to pretty much do is you're going to go through that door over there. But before we go through that door, the first shortcut that you're going to get once you get the key card from a specific enemy, you'll be able to start taking this flight of stairs right here. And that will allow you to get to floor number four relatively quickly and skip quite a lot of enemies. And then you'll be able to proceed to the second part of this level where you will kill another enemy and that will give you a key. Now the key you can use on this elevator over here, and this elevator takes you straight to the third boss. So if you keep dying on the third boss, this is by far the easiest level to get straight back to the boss. Because you respawn down there, kill those two enemies, make sure you pick up this bat because it's going to be very useful. Then you go straight to the boss. But obviously I've got both of the items already, but we're not going to use them. I'm going to show you guys and girls where to get them. It's not going to go very well. This is probably the worst level for travelling through. The enemies are so flipping tough in this level, and there's so many of them as well. It just seems to take like forever to reach the first mini boss where you'll get yourself like a shortcut item. It's just insane. But I'll probably travel through the level, even if I die a lot. It won't matter because I'll get to the areas with the shortcut items, show you all where you get them, then restart the level and fight the boss at age 27. So it's all good either way. Obviously, I'll have to sacrifice a few shrines, but it's not a big deal. You do get one just by. I think there's so. Yeah, fuck you, Rebecca. <laughs> that was big boy. Oh, damn. You went down pretty quickly, didn't you, mate? Generally, you seem to uh, do quite a bit of damage to me before you die, so uh, that's uh, beneficial. <laughs> we did pretty well on that, dude. Look at these little things. Oh, I know some dudes are going to come through here. Should we chuck stuff at them? Oi! <laughs> you 
you see that? He went to it and made him flinch and then flipping hit him again. Oh, lovely. That was beautiful. Little bit, little bit uh, mean though, uh, Lee. Little bit mean, Lee. My character's name is not Lee. I don't know what my character's name is. I don't think they've given him a name, but we've been calling my character Lee because he's Chinese and I like the name Lee. It's my favourite character in Tekken. So we've named my character Lee for those of you that don't know. So every time I say Lee, I'm talking about my character. I swear I remember that dude over there looking like Bugsy Malone. I remember him doing quite a bit of damage, actually. So hopefully we take that guy down quick. Oh, he's got a mate as well. Everyone's got weapons at this level. Jesus! What was, what was the point of you even being here? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know that was a trophy! Oh, I, I, I always forget that you can throw the enemies. Basically, when they're stunned like that, instead of pressing uh, triangle and circle, if you press square and X, you can chuck them. There are other situations where you can chuck them as well, but that's the uh, time where it's definitely going to work. So uh, yeah, if they're ever days like that and you can finish them, instead chuck them and you can chuck them into other enemies. Or you can get yourself a cheeky trophy. I don't even know what that was for. It said something about water, I think, so maybe it's for throwing them in the... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, this room's great. You can throw constant light bulbs at people. I don't know if these... Oh, shit. Hey, what the... Why does she keep hitting me with that? <laughs> Don't even start throwing light bulbs at you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, she got. She received a crutch punch. See, I've already. I've already said I'm trying not to use the uh, crutch punch because it's just so fucking dishonourable. <laughs> but uh, if somebody starts beating me up like that. They're gonna have to get punched in the dick or minge. It just has to happen. Did my uh, back break? Where did my back go? Oh, there it is. Looking a bit, uh, looking a little bit buckled at the moment, though. So uh, not very good. What is that? What's that supposed to represent? Looks like a bucket of piss. This must be some modern art. <laughs> It probably would be modern art. If you literally got a nice piece of canvas and took a shit on it, that would be modern art. And smeared it around in some sort of pretty shape, that would be modern art. Probably make millions. Oh, how many people do you want in it here? Should we go in the middle? Oh, you bastard. I'm going to end up dead. Oh, no, don't fuck off, man. Actually, do fuck off. I probably shouldn't have used my focus. I don't know if there's going to be like a... Oh, you bitch! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you... We'll start trying to permanently unlock this, I guess. I want to save a little bit of experience. Just for uh, when we get to the shrine. Because if we can get to the uh, boss with a relatively low amount of deaths, then I can kill the boss. Oh, shit! Man, I like that attack. I think the... Um, I think the, uh, the, the... The thing that I was having trouble with is this move. I can't do it when I've got a bat in my hand. But you tap... Yeah, you tap forward twice... And uh, then you press triangle and you sweep them over and they fall over. But um, I was having trouble with it. But it looks like the run. It's annoying that I can't get the other one of this. Right, what do we want to go with? Have an extra focus bar. Eh. I just don't never bother with focus related stuff because the only time you want to have the focus is for the final boss. And well, you'll find out about that later. I'll get that. Gives me a bit more health when I take down people, which is obviously good. 
Oh, look at that. You can't, you can't have a, you can't smack me twice. You fuckers. Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> Fucking hell. But as you can see, we're slowly going up by floors. So once we have the, uh, key, well, I've already got the key card, but once we have the key card, then uh, I'll be able to just take the set of stairs and we'll be able to go past all of this stuff quicker. That enemy over there, uh, she is defending something like a collectible or something. So if you go and take her down, she's a, she's a pretty, pretty tough enemy, but... Um, yeah, you can find a collectible near her. I'm not going to fight her because I don't care about a collectible. I'm just going to get a new bat because I'm using a wonky one. Alright, I'm guessing we have to go. I don't know if I should take this broom actually. These brooms are pretty good because I, I guess it's supposed to be a joke. But with these brooms, he does very good at sweeping enemies. <laughs> he literally sweeps along the floor and trips them over. We're going to leave it there, just uh, I'm going to stick with a bat. I think this room might be the room where I usually... Well, I mean, I'm only age 28, so I've, I've never got here at this age, but this room's got a lot of baddies in it, I think. Yeah, the problem with this room is I think there's two big chunky boys. I, I can see ya! I can see your bat, you pussy! So there's a few elite enemies in here as well. I thought he was, was going to go like elite mode then. Yeah, I didn't use a takedown on her because I thought she was going to do that usual bollocks where they uh, power themselves up. Have I got any collectibles I need to find in this level, actually? Let me have a look. I think I've got a few, actually, we should be looking out for. Yeah, I've got... Oh, no. Oh, no, I've only got one to find. Which is a bloody good thing. But you can see right here, you've got a key card that leads to this door over here. Then you've got a key that leads to the elevator, so you can see. But yeah, it's such it's such a lot of work. This stop this meaningless crusade here. Kuroki has long since abandoned this life of violence and bloodshed. I don't give a crap, mate. Around and leave now. I don't care if she's abandoned her. Uh... Nobody else. <laughs> This is the guy that gives you the key card, as you can see by the door behind him. There you go. Now once you've killed him, you're going to have the uh, key card. So now if you do die for whatever reason, you can take the stairs to get back to... Uh, uh, I think basically up here, where we're going to be now. Yeah, basically here. Well, not this exact room, but basically this area. What the flipping hell is that meant to be? <laughs> How is that art? So I'm guessing this uh, woman has uh, decided to uh, repent her wicked ways of murdering people and become some sort of dodgy artist. Well, I don't give a crap. We're still going to beat her to a pulp. That's what you get. That is what you get when you murder my father. Yeah, we're basically going to be getting up here. 
It's... Oh, there's so much. There's so many uh, things we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, there's a lot of things we're going to have to deal with. This next bit is the worst bit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this place is horrible. Yeah, this bit right here. It's so dark, and it's, there's a lot of like, elite enemies in this area. Because there's so many enemies, it becomes hard to dodge. It is considered redemptive in nature. All right, fucking hell, Barry, relax. Where's the women? Oh, shit. Oh, there they are. I will die in this room. These two women are such a nightmare. Ah, oh, it's too it's too dark, right? You've basically turned this level into England. Dark and gloomy and depressing. All right, we've permanently unlocked the slide kick now. I'll probably never use it because I'll keep forgetting I've got it. <laughs> I mean, we're only we're we'll 29, ain't we? Not that bad. We're going up a lot in like age of one, so that's good. Oh, it worked. Oh, t <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's the move. Oh, you bitch. Yeah, anytime somebody comes at me from the ground, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to take an unnecessary amount of damage. I really am. I think once I've gotten to this uh, next bit, though, and I reach the... If I do... Re oh, no. Oh, man. When we get to the bit where we uh, collect the key, once I've collected the key, uh, I might quit the level and then just go straight to the boss. Because then you guys and girls have already seen what you need to do and how you get the, uh, the two shortcut items. So uh, you already know what to do, and I've already got them, so what's the point in having additional damage? Obviously I'll lose out on some shrines, but it's not a big deal. Unless I get there all the way without dying. Come on in, you pricks! Oh dear, mate. I think there's a sword up here, actually. we we'll get a fresh one. There we go. Oh. Oh, that made a very nice noise. Do you hear that? Like a nice little, like, gong noise. Very nice. Oh, yeah. If you, if you uh, dodge at a perfect time... And then take a swing at them. You get a nice little sound effect from your dual sense controller. Oh, all right, everybody. Okay, Backstreet Boys are here. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. You suck it. That's what I get for trying to throw him. I was going to fry him into the enemies. <laughs> oh, 
Well, at least they're all, like, basically basic enemies here. Had that? I don't know if this is the... I don't know if this is the one that gives you the key. I don't, I don't think it is. Do you give me the key? I don't think you do, do you? Maybe you are. This might be the guy that gives you the key. I don't think it is, though. We must dive beneath the water to explore I keep them. getting hit by these. To face the past. Hmm. I don't think... I don't think that is the guy. Yeah, because everything goes very weird now. And I know there's like a dark section we're going to walk through and we're not going to be able to see anything. It's, it's like... Yeah, this bloody bit. I don't know if they're elite enemies. Oh man, this is not very good for the eyes, is it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think um, some of these bloody things come alive. Oh, not that kind of enemy. Come on. Where's my knife? Press the wrong button. <laughs> there we go, we've permanently unlocked another thing. A spin hook kick. Which looks pretty damn cool actually. I'll never use it, but I've at least I've unlocked it. No matter how many times they do it, I still forget. Oh, now, now I dodge. Oh. oh, what's that? Oh, it's for reaching a score of five. Man, flipping it. Now we've done, we've done pretty damn well in this play, bro. Yeah, I think there's going to be a what age are we? Thirty-three. Okay. Looks like Medusa might live around here. And I'm not a fan of Medusa. I don't know if anyone else... Do I want this? I've got a stick. This... These are the... This is the enemy that gives you the key. Yeah, this is how you get the key, I think. Yeah, these give you the key, I think. So you want to deal with these bloody annoying bitches. Really piss off. All right, there you go, and that will give you. The uh, the key. I'm pretty sure it's them two that give you the key. Because I know you have to travel really bloody far to get that key. Alright, now we've reached where the um, the boss is going to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, give up. Because I've shown you where to get all of the collectibles now. And... Uh, not the collectibles, all of the shortcut items. And we're now going to come back and we're going to be level 27.
and we can go and fight the third boss at level 27. Obviously we're going to lose those two shrines that we found as we progress through the level, and the final shrine is going to be right at the end of the level, but um, yes, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. And I'll explain what we're going to do on this boss. Okay, so what you want to make sure you do is on this boss, make sure you bring some sort of melee weapon. Not a knife though, I think it has to be like a stick or preferably a metal bat or something like that. Because the boss has got two stages. Stage one, she does all sorts of combos and uh, her weapons are bladed. So even if you're blocking, you'll still be taking a lot of damage because she's using bladed weapons and you're deflecting with your arms. So you'll take, you'll take damage anyway. With a melee weapon, you don't take damage. So you want to make sure you've got a melee weapon. You can just stand there blocking all of her attacks, wait for her to do a slam. As soon as she does a slam, you do need to avoid that because it's big damage and just give it some of that. And then you can uh, go to town on her and you can get through stage one relatively quickly. Stage two, you need to uh, basically stay back dodge any of the knives that she throws at you and wait for her to start to charge at you. You normally see like a little twinkle in her eye. When she does that, immediately dodge. Even if she's miles away, just dodge. And then you'll dodge when she gets close to you and you can have a few cheeky hits. See? Takes you right back to the boss. But um, yeah, you just gotta stay back, dodge the knives in stage two, wait for her to charge at you with that little glimmer in her eye and then dodge it and then beat the shit out of her. And uh, you should be able to do some big damage to her. Stage two is the longer one. Stage one's relatively quick. But, um, we'll see how it goes. Alright. The stage one can be relatively aggravating if she doesn't do the slam attack that leaves her open to attack. She's got so many different combos in this stage. This peaceful one. I do not want to fight you. I don't give a crap. Feeling of vengeance. I will not cease here. I speak from experience. Now only you will be forced to. That's what you want her to do that. I don't know all of her combos, so sometimes she probably is open to attack, but you wanna... You just wanna wait for her to do that slam. Oh, fuck's sake! You see what I mean? I ain't got my weapon now, and I was taking a bit of damage then. It's that one. I, I always forget. I always forget. <laughs> Every bloody time. I, just, I always forget that one combo. She only does that slam attack with one. Alright, I don't have my weapon no more, so... Right, 
stage two, I, I think I know more what to do. We might die again, though. For <laughs> Jesus. Uh, when she does orange, dodge. You can get a few hits. And then, if you've got the skill, you can throw these. Like, dodge there. You see that little glimmer she did? That's when you want to dodge. And then dodge her knives. Just stay back. See when she does that? you got to dodge then. Just look for the glimmer. You can throw these back at her if you want. Ready? Dodge. Make sure you dodge that. You'll take humongous damage. Stay back in this fight. Beautiful. That's what you want to get when she does that one. You want to wait for her to do that little orange foot jump that she does with her feet glow orange. You'll die now. You got to, you got to get that bit down to a T though, because that will take three quarters of your health or more. I always trip them over. There's other attacks you can unlock, but I just trip them over all the time. I don't know why. Oh, oh, cheeky little bitch. Should be crutch punching on. Tom Wolf's gonna get mad. That's enough. I'll bleed you dry. I think I'll balls that one up. Changing her she's changing her fucking combos a bit. Oh, you fucked up now, bitch. Ah, <laughs> yeah! I can be sparing these bosses, but uh, I'm not sparing them because I want you guys and girls to experience that yourself. But you got to finish the game, and then you can replay, and you can spare people. That's the best I've ever done in stage number two. No deaths. <laughs> Brilliant. And you can get through stage one with no deaths as well. You've just got to hope that she don't do certain combos. That one where she does the spin and slam. She seemed to do that a lot. <laughs> if you memorise it though, memorise the pattern, and even then you'll just, you can dodge that and do more damage to her. But yeah, I'm not very good at memorising the combos. That's why boss five was so bad for me. Because that, that boss must have like fucking ten combos just in stage one. Was you having a nice bit of tea then, uh, Lee? That tastes delicious, mate. I bet it did. Alright, I'm going to end the video now, Wolf and Wolfette. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfette. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.